Hello everyone, my name is Maike and in this video I'm going to show you how I make these DIY traveler's notebook folders. These are really fun and easy to make. There's lots of customization options uh, in terms of what paper you use. You could probably even cover it in fabric if you'd like. You can add all kinds of pockets both on the outsides as well as the insides and if you uh, don't want to attach a pen loop to your leather cover. This is a great place to add one. So yeah, lots of fun things to do with these. And so yeah, let's get right into it. As for the supplies, you need two pieces of paper uh, that will form the outside and the inside of your folder. And there you want to have pieces of paper that are at least as tall as your inserts and then as wide as a double page spread because you're gonna fold it over. And then for the uh, pockets themselves, uh, I chose to use some craft paper just because I think it looks kind of neat together with the pattern paper. And that one just needs to be uh, as tall and as wide as a single page spread. Uh, so yeah, so you have your three pieces of paper and then, oh, just a tip, if you have a pattern piece of paper that you feel like maybe isn't sturdy enough, you can always just glue two pieces together and then have something that's a little bit more sturdy. I actually did that with my craft paper, so you don't need to necessarily go out and buy any anything else in terms of paper. So use what you have, that's a great tip. And then you need some uh, glue. I think I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac simply because it's a pretty strong glue um, and when it dries it usually doesn't leave any uh, bubbles or anything. Uh, so I'm going to use that and then you need a craft knife, a ruler and a bone folder. It's optional but it does make creasing the thicker paper a little easier. So that's pretty much it for just the bare bones construction in terms of materials. The first step is to make the outside and inside of the Traveler's Notebook folder. Uh, so the rectangular part, so to speak. So you're going to take your insert. I'm going to be working with a B6 slim insert, uh, but I'm going to tell you the measurements that I used for a traveler's notebook regular size as well. And so I'm going to turn this around so that I can mark on the side that doesn't have the pattern on it. And now I'm just going to uh, take a pen. You could also use a pencil if you want to be a little bit more careful, but I'm going to live on the wild side here. Uh, and then so I'm just going to indicate my height. Uh, I think I'm going to just make the folder the same height as my uh, insert. And then for the width, I'm just going to roll <laughs> the insert over um, and then indicate that. Um, you can add a little bit more if you if you want to have the folder have an insert inside of it. Um, I know some people do that. Uh, so you may want to add a little sliver of extra uh, width there, which actually I might do. Just, you know, I'm going to eyeball it. Um, you know, I have a mathematician father and both my grandfather and great grandfather <laughs> were architects there. They would be very proud of my measuring my measuring skills here. Um, but yeah, so now I have an indicator of the uh, height and the width and I'm just going to cut that out. And you do the same thing for the pattern paper that's going to go on the inside of your traveler's notebook. And then once you have your pieces cut out, you're just going to glue the inside pattern onto the outside pattern. And then if you want to, you could even sew around the perimeter uh, of your folder to give it sort of a more finished look, but that is totally optional. Um, but yeah, that, that would be something you could do. Now that your outside pattern is glued to the inside pattern, we can set that aside and give the glue a little bit of time to really set. And we're gonna get working on the 
pockets. Uh, now, I personally find secretarial pockets really useful because you can just slip in all the loose bits of paper, tickets, photos that you may collect while traveling and you don't have time to glue it into your journal yet, or you can keep some sticker sheets ready uh, for using. So yeah, I'm gonna do both sides secretarial pockets, but you can play around with this setup. You can make one a secretarial pocket and then on the other side just make a big slip pocket, or um, you could attach sort of like a belly band and then stick on sticky uh, pockets that you can buy uh, to have that on hand whatever you think is going to be most useful to you. I can also suggest to look at some tutorials from the junk journaling community. They have all kinds of crazy pocket um, tutorials, so there's a plethora of ideas and resources there. But I'm going to show you the process that I used to come up with these secretarial pockets. And I think, depending on what size you're gonna be working with, I think you can adapt that to pretty much any um, insert size. Um, but I'm gonna share the exact measurements for the Traveler's regular size and what I'm using for my B6 Slim. So this is the <laughs> maybe more tedious part where I'm just gonna list a bunch of numbers. So. Um, but I am going to have all those numbers also in the description, uh, so you can look that up there. Uh, you don't necessarily need to note those down. So my thought process in coming up with these was that one, we want a little bit of a gap from where the uh, rubber band or the elastic from the traveler's notebook hits, where basically the middle folds and where the secretarial pocket starts. Now, I decided on a one centimeter gap. A one centimeter is about 0.4 inches. So I gave myself that, and then I figured it would be also good to have a little bit of uh, a gap from the top to where the secretarial pocket starts. So there I chose to make a 1.5 centimeter gap, and that's 0.6 inches. So once I had those measurements, I just told myself, well, I'm gonna go in three centimeters. So this space here is three centimeters, which is 1.18 inches. And then here I went up three centimeters, uh, no, not three, 6.5 centimeters, which is 2.6 inches. And then I just connected those two points um, with an angle. Uh, and so this angle will change based on what your overall folder size is. Uh, so yeah, uh, if you want to see that sort of in a diagram, this is it. Maybe you can also stop the video and take note of this. Oh, now the camera won't focus. There we go. And then the only other thing that you will need to draw out is these two tabs here, um, which we're gonna use to put glue on and then fold over to attach the pocket um, to our folder, if that makes sense. Uh, so I made mine just a centimeter deep, which again is 0.4 inches, and then just um, indicated a little bit of an angle to cut them out. So yeah, so you're gonna um, make yourself a, you could make yourself a template, I guess, um, and then choose whatever paper you wanna use. Ooh, now everything's falling all over the place. I'm gonna use this craft paper because I like the look of the craft paper with the patterned paper. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. Oh, and I did, for these ones, I also cut out these slots because I saw that the Traveler's Notebook Company has those slots on their craft folders, which you can use to tuck in business cards. So I basically just use the width of a business card or these like tags here, um, and then made them, I don't know what that is, a couple millimeters thick. I personally have never used these, and once you have stuff in the secretarial pocket, it just becomes really cumbersome to stick these in and out. So 
I'm not gonna bother with these. I think it's much more useful if, if you wanna have extra storage to get some sticky, um, again, those sticky pockets that you could put um, on the front here or just decorate them. Um, yeah, so I'm not gonna uh, make these slits, but you could cut those out also. So yeah, I'm gonna um, cut out my little template here and trace that onto my uh, craft paper here and cut them out and I'll be right back. And now we have some secretarial pockets. All that is left to do now is to attach them to our folder. And for that, um, I suggest making sure that the markings that you've made are gonna be on the inside so that they're not as visible. So you're gonna flip them over. And then on the side where there's no lines visible, we're gonna help ourselves here a little bit with folding over the glue tabs and scoring those with the bone folder and a ruler. So you're just gonna go over where you're gonna fold the tabs both on the side and on the bottom and then that way once you get to actual folding it just goes a little bit easier and then go in there and go over it with the bone folder again to really make that a sharp fold and then this long side here it might be needing a little bit more coaxing depending on what kind of paper you used. But then how this is gonna work is you're going to put glue on the tabs and then we're sticking it down like so. Does that make sense? Okay, so I'm gonna use my Fabri-Tac again, turn it over. I'm gonna put glue on the long side and glue on the short side. And again, checking to make sure that the pattern is oriented the right way. And now we're gonna glue this down. Give it a good squeeze so that the glue really attaches. And do the same thing for the other side. Now we're pretty much done with our folder, depending on uh, how much you wanna uh, customize it with pen loops and other sticky pockets. Again, you could also attach pockets on the outside. Uh, this would also be another opportunity to sew around the perimeter and include the pockets in that. Um, if you feel like you've changed your mind at this point. One thing I did with uh, this folder here is that I, if you can see that, I cut in notches at the top and at the bottom where the middle fold is to help the elastic uh, sit in more nicely and it doesn't uh, bend the paper as much. So I'm going to do that and you can just take your folder, fold it in half and then take some and then take some scissors and just cut off a teeny tiny corner both at the top 
and at the bottom. And then you have a nice notch for the elastic to sit in. And there we have it. This is how easy and fun it is to make your own traveler's notebook folder. Um, it's a great little project that doesn't take a lot of time or supplies and a great way to use up some of our patterned papers. And then we can keep our ephemera and stationery and photos securely with our with our notebooks uh, ready to use. Um, and again, this also makes for a fun, minimal notebook cover if you put your insert inside of the folder and then use an elastic to bind them together. I think that's really cute. Well, where's the knot? I think I would put that more on the outside. There you go, and then you're you're just ready to go. Put some stickers in, some patterned papers maybe, and photos, and you're you're off. Um, so yeah, really fun. I hope you enjoy making your own, and that this tutorial will help you. If you're in the mood for some more DIY traveler's notebook tutorials, I also have one on how to make your own fabric cover. So that's really fun. Um, I have that linked below. And again, I'll have the measurements in the description as well to help you along. So yeah, have fun with this. And until next time, happy journaling.